Hi, Cyrus Roos here, back on and sorry I mentioned the new game minus 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 video, episode 28, I almost said 38 for some reason, and it's been a little bit since last episode, I've done some off-camera stuff, like optimizing infinity point gain after each of these upgrades here, so at 5e36 infinity points, it's enough to get one of these upgrades, and it's also enough to get a few infinity dimension things, actually it's just one infinity dimension. Thing. But whatever, it's still something, even though it's probably going to have, like, no effect. But maybe this upgrade will allow me to get 71 galaxies. That's that's the hope. Because maybe 71 galaxies will allow me... Yeah, there's 71 galaxies. So possibly I'll be able to unlock the next Infinity Challenge, right? Not because, yeah, E7800, Antimatter, E8140, Antimatter. I sort of... I didn't really expect this to actually get me all the way to E8140. I probably need 72 galaxies. However, I'm actually only, only uh, it's still 50 orders of magnitude away. I'm, I'm, I'm nowhere close. And the thing is that there's really not much I can do. I mean, I could try to get galaxy points for this. I mean, I feel like the game is so slow right now. I mean, I could try to get more infinity points, but I feel like I just, I just want to, I really just want to unlock this infinity challenge. And I still not, I'm still not even sure if a 72nd galaxy is gonna even give me, um, is gonna even get me to E8140 antimatter. So I'm, I'm real, I'm really hitting a wall here. Now the upgrade here does probably help me. I, I, it looks like it's getting me more than one galaxy, so it could help infinity point gain a lot. So I feel like maybe I should just crunch here. And let's see how fast I can actually, how many infinity points per minute I can get now. So, let's see. I, th I think I could probably go all the way up to 63 galaxies without having to do anything manually. And then, you know, there's 63, 64, 65, 66. I can probably get up to possibly 69 galaxies. Uh, let's see. Uh, it doesn't look like I'm going to get 69. So, it gets me one point... About 1 E34 infinity points per minute. So, this is not very fast. It'll allow me to get E37 in a day. Which is not really what I'm going for, but... It'll do something. And maybe with the infinity point thi thing here. Also, I'll be able to get this upgrade here eventually. It's just a rounding error. It's not really an error, but it's just a rounding thing. Like, that's why I can't get it, even though I already have four E36 infinity points. But maybe that will allow me to get a 72nd galaxy. So, yeah. Seen a bit. Okay, I'm back a couple days later, and I have two E37 infinity points. It's enough to get this upgrade and probably, yeah, one infinity dimension multiplier. So it really isn't all that much. Maybe I can get more galaxies, though. I really do want to get that E8140 antimatter. I'm, I don't think that's possible, though. I mean, may, maybe it is. I have no idea. Seven, I am up to 1760 8th dimensions. It's only 30 orders of magnitude and still to the 72nd galaxy. So I feel like I will try to go for this. So I'm just going to wait it out here. Okay, while, while I'm waiting for this, I I guess I could just buy some auto buyers. I'm, I'm, I'll get it all the way up to, let's say, E10 bulk purchase. So, let's do that. I, th I think I'm literally just squaring my bulk purchase. It's, yeah, now the cost is completely negligible, so I'm just, I'm just gonna buy these while I wait. Okay, finally I can start getting 8th dimensions. I, ne I need 6 more 8th dimensions to get this galaxy. I can get 1... A can give me the dimension boost and a tick feed boost, but no, I'm not going to get that. There's also that, but that's also going to do nothing. So, yeah, I just need to wait for these. These take 10 seconds, over 10 seconds each. This is like a throwback to pre-infinity, what, what pre-infinity is like, especially in, like, the New Game Minus X mods, where it's even slower than usual. So, hopefully, okay, we're up to 4... <laughs> I, I can't I can't believe I'm so excited about getting individual eighth dimensions five it's, it's really been actually like I don't know maybe ten minutes here it is six here's the galaxy hopefully I can get up to e8140 I'm not sure if this is possible this doesn't look very good it, wow this galaxy is only giving me about 60 90 okay maybe yeah 60 
orders of magnitude of antimatter. So no, E8140 is not going to happen, even with the 72nd galaxy. And the 73rd galaxy is so far away, I need... I think yeah, I need 30 more eighth dimensions. Uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna get these infinity points. I will try to do something to speed up speed up the game slightly, and this is lower challenge times. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna yeah, I'm gonna hold. Yeah, let's do this, and I'll be repeatedly doing the challenge. Yeah, I'm just gonna hold C down, and then just all right. Yeah, I'm just gonna yeah, I'm just gonna spam the I'm, I'm just gonna spam the big crunch button on all of these challenges Sh should be extremely quick for every single one of them one of these hopefully i can get like the sum of all challenge times below a single second that's sort of the goal so here's challenge five challenge six let's let's see how actually no, I'll, I'll see how good i am once I'm, I'm yeah you can't get any faster that's that's still true even the eighth dimension of our challenge is instant now and here is the weird tick speed one here's the automated dimension boosts one i think even challenge 12 oh challenge 12 is still actually a little bit of a challenge i'll do that one last challenge 11 is going to be super easy probably the same with the yeah, f13 and then challenge 15 is probably also going to be yeah and then challenge 14 and then challenge 12 is going to require one dimension boost. That's literally it. So, yes, yeah, I'm just going to spamming D and C. And hopefully, uh, hopefully this is going to allow me to get, let, let's see, let's see the challenge records. Yeah, the slowest one is challenge 12, and that's 0.2 seconds, which makes this upgrade from E6 to E8. So, I know it's almost, it's almost negligible, but right now, this game is getting so slow again that I need to do stuff like that. There's no achievements I can really get as well. Like, I cannot get error 909. I can't get these two. I, I, I'm really stuck, unfortunately. So, I'm just going to exit the challenge, try to get uh, most infinity points per minute. Let's see how much I'm going to get. I think I can get up to, like, 63 galaxies without having to do any extra manual stuff. So, okay, here we go. 64, 65, 66... 67, 68, can I get 69? Uh, no. I can get, I feel like that was about the same speed as last time. I'm going to try a, for a little bit, a little bit of a faster infinity point gain. So, here we go. 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, and this gives me 4.8 e34 per minute i mean the offline is a little better I, I i think it used to be actually i can just check here with past oh no i can't but i i did this speed it's gonna allow me to reach about three e37 in a day which is not good that, I mean, that means i need to wait three days to get an infinity point doubler and this takes two days and yeah this is not looking good I have no idea what I can do to speed up the game. And I know I can go further than this. So, yeah. See you in a long while. Okay, I'm back a little, uh, like, a few days later. And I finally just got this E38 upgrade. Which means I, again, have to sort of, like, recalibrate the infinity speed. So, yeah. That's, again, it's just so, it's, this is really getting slow. And I, I need something to speed this up because I was not at E8140, I was at E8070. So, let's see, just getting a few galaxies should help me get more infinity points per minute here. Let's see, that's 9.6 E34, which I feel like is okay. It should be about double what I got before. Like, yeah, I got, yeah, that's about double what I got before. I, I could try for just a slightly faster time. I know that wasn't the most efficient so, like, if I do it like this and this, I could definitely maybe get a slightly higher infinity points per minute rate. Uh, no, it's lower. So, or maybe it'll be higher with, with this. Yeah, that's up to E35 per minute. So, okay. It looks like with this generates 50% of your best infinity points per minute from the last 10 infinities. I'll only, I'll only be getting 5 E... No, 5... Yeah, 5e34 infinity points per minute. That's not a lot. Because that means in a day I'll get about 7 to 8 
E37, which is not really what I want. It's enough to get this upgrade. The next thing would take about, I would say, two weeks. I mean, of course, there's the E8140, which hopefully I can get. So that's like my one hope. So, yeah, seen a bit. Okay, it's been nearly a week since the last clip. I have E8140 antimatter. I don't even have double that. You can just see how crazy it is. The, the, this, the percents are 0.02% per second. It took a long time to get this, but finally, I can unlock the next Infinity Challenge. Tick Speed Autobot, it's essentially the Tick Speed Autobot Challenge, Automated Big Crunches Challenge, Automatic Galactic Sacrifice Challenge, and Automated Tick Speed Boosts Challenge at once. So it's actually not Vanilla Infinity Challenge 4. I thought it was going to be that, but it's essentially another variation of Vanilla Infinity Challenge 1. So... Yeah, I, I wonder what this is going to be. I, I exported my save just in case, because I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to first, I'm going to crunch here for some infinity points, and then I'm going to try this challenge, and it may be buggy. So, I do not have tick speed boosts, but looks like I need, I, I need, I think it's like 8.88 E888 antimatter. So, let's see if I can do this. Hopefully, this is going to be possible. So I cap out at about E840 antimatter. And that, mean, that means I'm 40 orders of magnitude away, which is a lot more promising than, you know, the E8140 thing. So I feel like this is going to be slow, but it's definitely going to be doable. Also, at E859, there's another galaxy. So that's going to help even more. So I'm just going to wait this out. Okay, here's the 20th galaxy. This should, yeah, I'm now just a few orders of magnitude away from E888. It'll take a couple minutes, but I will definitely reach it. While away, I'll just look at this reward. Galaxy points boost tick speed boosts. Doesn't tell me any formula. I really hope it's good, because I need it to be good. Because the thing is, it took so long to reach... E8140 antimatter. The next one, next infinity challenge is E14000 antimatter. And it'll take probably another week, maybe even more than that, to just get this infinity point doubler. And then it'll take another week to get E39 after that. Maybe even two weeks to get the further increased all dimension multipliers upgrade. And the next infinity dimension is E10000. 500 antimatter, I think. So I'm nowhere close to that. So I need it to be good. So here I'm actually getting more 8th dimensions, but I don't think I should dimension boost at all because if I do, it'll just take longer to reach E888 antimatter than it was than it would be to do it here. So actually, yeah, I'm really close now. And here is the challenge. So this should mean that I should be able to hopefully get a better infinity point per minute amount than I got before. So let, let's see, maybe I can get some more galaxies, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, can I, I can get 73, 74, can I get, it looks, it looks like I cap out at 74, at, what, what was that, that was, I can actually go to statistics here past infinities, 8E38 infinity points per minute. That's what I needed. I needed something like that because this is this is going to, at least it's going to allow me to get a lot more infinity points. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.